Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing each of the uh, regions of the 2014 NCAA tournament with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com and Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. All right, guys, now let's dig our teeth into the Midwest region. And this is, you know, the region where Wichita State is the number one seed and everyone's saying that, you know, the, uh, the, the, that they got screwed here because they have such a tough um, bracket. And uh, they are, despite being the number one seed, right now at Pinnacle, they are still the third choice. The favorite is Louisville, the number four seed at plus 150. Duke is the second choice, the number three seed at plus 361. And Wichita State, even though they're the number one seed, they are the third choice at plus 400. Let's start with you, uh, Troy West. Do you think uh, Wichita State should be the, uh, the favorite here or do you think they should legitimately should be the third choice? I think they should legitimately be the third choice. Okay. And, uh, I'm not trying to take any credit away, but you've got to remember, this team did not beat a top 25 team all year. Can they really go into this tournament? You look at the second round, they're going to get a good Kentucky team or a good Kansas State team. And as they progress through, the fact you do going to probably end up facing a team like Louisville, they're going to get tested at each and every round which I don't know, can they handle it? I don't think so. I think, so. I think it's a legitimate number that they're the third ranked in this conference. Joe Duffy, same question to you. Wichita State, the number one seed, but they are the number three choice. Do you think that's legitimate or do you think they should be the favorite? Wichita State, no. I do think they should be the number three seed, but I have discounted them for a lot of the same reasons that Troy said, but I keep saying to myself, I was saying, and so were a lot of other people saying the same thing about Butler a couple years ago. Butler made the all-time one of the great runs of the Final Four. We said they're not going to do it again. And what happens the next year? They follow up by going to the championship game, playing in one of the greatest games ever where they nearly knocked off Duke. So, you know, Wichita State, they've been there. They've done that before, and they are undefeated. So I can't ignore what they did last year. Yes, if I just looked at this year for the same reasons Troy said, I would say they're going to be an early exit. But this is the same team that made the miracle run last year. So, again, could this be the second coming of Butler? I think uh, they have that ability to do that. But at the end of the day, no, I do not have them winning this region. So let's move on to Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com right now. You know, Troy West, I'm sure anyone trying to fill out this bracket, it's just it's just the bracket of insanity, right? Wichita State, Duke, Louisville, St. Louis, Kentucky, you know, Tennessee. Tennessee finished the year uh, on fire against the spread. NC State, you know, I mean, it's just, it's an insane bracket. What general advice would you have for anyone trying to fill out the bracket? Who would you recommend people look on, uh, you know, maybe having an early exit? And who would you recommend people look to uh, maybe go a little bit further than the odds are giving them credit for? Yeah, you know, I hate to go with the sexy team, but I'm going to go with Duke. I really like mm -hmm. the, the first-round matchup against Mercer. I think that's going to be a cakewalk for them. And then even in the second round, they're going to get UMass or either Iowa Tennessee. I know Iowa Tennessee both have the capabilities to beat a team like Duke, but I still see Duke being a heavy favorite in that ball game. And the bottom part of this bracket, Texas, Arizona State, I don't think either of those teams are very good. I don't think either of those teams can make a deep run. And then you got Michigan, Wofford. So really, Duke could have three pretty dark easy games to get into the Elite Eight. So I think the bottom part of that bracket, I think it's a lot easier than the top half. So I'm going to go with Duke. I think it's a sexy pick, but yeah, you've got a lot of coach care, the way Parker's playing. This is a good basketball team that I think is built for the tournament. I like Duke. Duke is the number three seed. Are there any of the bottom seeds that you think uh, might be one of those, you know, eight, nine, ten seeds that winds up making the uh, Sweet 16 in this bracket? You know, I think Kentucky could possibly do it. They're definitely a team with an asterisk on them. Look at this Kentucky team. They were played so well at times and so bad at times. But they did play Florida 61-60 in that SEC title game. So I think they've got something to be confident about going in. So Kentucky, to me, if they can get by Kansas State, it's going to be a hell of a game against Wichita State. But Kentucky, to me, as an eighth seed, could have some value. All right. So, Joe Duffy, for anyone looking to fill out their brackets, they're looking at the top four seeds. They're thinking, should I just pick the top four seeds to all, you know, go as far as expected? Or do you think that there is uh, one of the top four seeds that might be uh, due for an early exit? Now, well, remember, when we did the conference previews, I was pretty high on Kentucky. I said that the, the strategy that they have there with a the one-and-done, it pays off at the end of the year. Freshman-laden teams are going to peak late, and they did that. That was a heck of a game they had. The last possession had a chance to beat Florida, the number one team in the country. And remember, they were down in that game, so they made a nice late run, which showed that despite their youth, 
they they did not fold when uh, Florida looked like they were going to pull away. So Kentucky is uh, definitely a team that could be a major dark horse. Again, according to that Ken Palm luck factor, they are one of the most unlucky teams mm -hmm. in the country. The record could be a little bit better. And, uh, you know, UMass is another dangerous team. They they can actually score. They match up well in the third round to a smaller Duke team. Again, these mid-majors that have big men are what I like. And I think the Duke could actually get upset in the third round by uh, UMass. So, no, I, I, honestly, I think this is the region that will probably have the most upsets, or at least the lower seeds beating the higher seeds. I, mean, I do think that Wichita State is probably a team that is going to get knocked off early. I do think at the end of the day, they will be the first number one seed to lose. All right, so now let's uh, let's just discuss the favorite, Louisville. Let's go to Troy West from allplayswin.com. You know, uh, Louisville is the number four seed, but they're the favorite at plus 150, and it's not even really close. The second choice is Duke at plus 361. So, uh, Troy, I'm assuming you think that Louisville at plus 150 to win the Midwest is a little bit uh, overvalued? Yeah, no, definitely not a value pick, but you got to think the way Louisville is playing, uh, you know, probably one of the most talented players that nobody really talks about. Russ Smith, obviously, Rick Pitino has been there a time or two. They get a very favorable first round matchup with Manhattan, and then in the second round, getting either NC State, Xavier, or St. Louis, you got to like, you got to like Louisville in that matchup as well. So really, they're not going to be tested mm -hmm. until late in the tournament. So I, I, I like Louisville. I think there's some value. Possibly, but by God, to win the whole bracket at only 150, I'm not seeing it. All right, and then Joe Duffy, what do you think? Louisville plus 150, you think that's a little bit overvalued? Yeah, no, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what I said in one of our other videos. In my billion-dollar bracket, <laughs> I will pick Louisville, but I think uh, their, their hated rivals, Kentucky, is actually the best long shot. But, yeah, if you're looking for an upset to win your office, you know, where everyone's going mm -hmm. to be picking the chalks, and I like to have a little bit of fun on those low-stakes things, I would say that Kentucky would be kind of the, the good dark horse pick. And I have to say, the market agrees with you. The teams around Kentucky are UMass plus 5,500, Texas plus 5,000, and Kansas State plus 5,000. Kentucky's odds of pinnacle to win the region are just plus 1,500. So the market agrees with what you just said, Joe Duffy. All right, awesome insights, guys, as expected. Thanks so much.